better for thinning with pressure than I can with the antler. Because the antler, the uh, thin, those really small points, they just wear out fast. That's why you see uh, the fine pressure flakes, they're usually worn down pre. Uh, um, stubby. Not very sharp. That's also why I'm getting some really nice flakes, because, again, technically this is already sharp. Some say, we'll say, no, it's still too dull, but, uh, compared to antlers, it's sharp. Yeah. There's that freaking lump. I'm not going to be able to get that out right now. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get some nice flakes right on here. Yep. Well, on the edge looks like, looks like right here. I mean, I've cleaned it up a lot. This is going to be a nice, thin point. That's what burning does. It's copper. Allows you to undercut a lot of that crap. Yeah, you can take a look at the edge here. It's how thin that's getting. Of when again, I've got this freaking lump. I don't think I'm gonna, there's no way that I can just get in it. And don't laugh, Pat, that I'm going out using copper. I said I do my best work with copper. Any pieces I sell, I think I want to keep working with uh, pressure with copper. The copper cultures, I think, actually, they really fascinating. The Adena, the Cochlea. Right. And it really doesn't take a whole lot of effort to flake with copper. Yes, I doubt you'll see this Mr. Megalithics, but Larry, I'm going to take you up on the offer at some point soon after we get settled in. He offered to take me, me and mine on a uh, personal personal tour of uh, the Cookie Mounds. I'm going to have so many questions concerning uh, copper napping. Yeah, I'm sure you guys can tell I don't leave prayer plat platforms at all. I just get around to flaking. But then again, if you look at the way I do things, I use a continuous platform. 
if we flake it on any at, at any point. Definitely bird point. Well, I mean, look at this way. If all hell breaks loose and the world just comes to an end, it will still be copper around. So, I mean, there's no sense in not learning how to use copper. Because then, urban setting, you can go through the walls, find some pretty thick copper grounding wire. Yeah, let's try this is a bit. Sometimes I really hate having kids. They annoy me so. I mean, I love them, but. Constantly trying to fight. There. Now I'm getting back to the good flakes. You know, I also still consider this kind of abo. Oh yeah, I'm getting some really good series of flakes coming through here. Here's why. As I said, you know the the Dina. Like I think thinking of Dina, but we know what the Koki people did. And there was some copper coming out of the north here, so. Canada came down to Maine, so you know some cultures did use it for napping. Well, I'm not too sure, but from what I got, heard, and read, and talked to other people, uh, yeah, it was used. So I mean, that would consider it ammo. Yeah, they're using raw copper, but not. Alright, now I gotta go back through here on this side, because this side's print was completely covered in flight space. Soft now on that end. Oh, the first time looked pretty decent. Look at that. I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably just leave it as is. I'm gonna try to get at least some flicks to go along here. <laughs> That's like what we may do.
Yeah, that's like the best good I'll get. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to really do that with antler either. You know, not that not the best in the world. Still pretty dang thin. For what it is, I say I call it good. Try to get the base uh, properly again. So yeah. And for my reading, this is legal in Missouri. The size, as tiny as it is. I can use it to deer hunt, which is awesome. Like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it. I've tried this video a couple times, but there is almost no regulation in Missouri as far as archery goes. The only stipulation is that you have to have a license, which isn't too big of a deal. There Right, symmetry a little bit better. There you go, guys. Once I get my notches made again, nice little bird point. Say about three eighths wide. I know the minimum up here is seven eighths, but again, Missouri doesn't have such silly laws. So. So yeah, again, the whole thing is that I'm moving back, and uh, there's actually going to be so much more I can do. I mean, I'll actually build a shiny bow and a shiny jet lal and hunt with both. Well, it won't be right off, obviously, because 
I believe lost up behind. Because uh, this is kind of a spur of the moment. Holy crow, you get, you get out of here. We're going to be leaving lost up behind at her, her parents' place. You know what, though? As soon as it is, I think I can try to notch it with the uh, antler notcher. Let's see what I can do. Not the best notch in the world, but something. I'm not going to use slash on. Yeah, it's not the best in the world. There you go. Notched, ready to fly. And it's sharp too. <laughs> Alright guys. There you have it. You know, it's, not too, it's not quite perfect because you can see there's a bit of a ball right here. Use this to... Yeah, I actually used to use my, not, my copper notches in that same exact fashion there. Well, you get a straight pressure flaker on one side. I mean, it'll swell. I mean, if any of you uh, copper copper nappers that never tried that, I suggest you do. There we go. It's a little more of a narrow, narrow tip. It's still not perfect. I'll just stop before I break something. <laughs> Symmetry's way off. There. We go. Yeah, I got a ugly lump, but no biggie. There. Looks a little bit more even now. Not really. Shoot. Yeah. That's a little better. Oh well, it's not too bad, I guess. It's gonna have to be a two parter. No biggie. Yeah, that one's dull. It's not going to go any further. You know, maybe it can. Yeah, it's funny. There we go. The one that actually stalled the worst was the one that's nowhere near the lump. Can you believe that, guys? Come on. Yeah, I remember uh, Billy Burger saying something when he was mapping the last point that he's not good enough to do what I'm doing right now. Notch out the points. Yeah, it's still not perfect and perfect, but it's still lashing on. That is way off. I don't know. At least I don't have to point today. That's all that matters. It's ugly. It'd be one worth shooting. <laughs> so. Alright. That's it, guys. Have fun, play hard, and I'll see you in the woods.